Search fire department staffing and the headlines pop up from all across the country and right here in Ohio. The need for more firefighters is there for our safety and theirs. These are the people who run towards danger. These are the people who risk their lives every day to keep us safe. These are the individuals who are truly, truly our protectors. Ohio lawmakers took steps just yesterday to use hundreds of millions of dollars in federal relief money to hire more first responders and support the ones we already have. And in Akron, today marked the first graduating fire cadet class in two years. More than a dozen new firefighters now on the job. And department leaders told our Bob Jones this help on the front lines is desperately needed. Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. The duties of a firefighter. The duties of a firefighter. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. After 13 weeks of training, 16 cadets. It's the best job in the world and it's a calling. Are now Akron firefighters. We have chosen this profession not just for a paycheck, but for everything that comes along with being an Akron firefighter. The ceremony topped off with loved ones pinning badges on the uniforms of the determined first responders. This is probably the second or third test I've taken to get hired here, and I'm happy to say that I finally was able to achieve that. The men and women make up Akron's first fire cadet graduating class since 2019 and arrive on the job at a time when AFD is facing serious staffing challenges. Staffing shortages are always concerning, always. Chief Clarence Tucker says the new hires bring the total number of Akron firefighters to 340 43, but the authorized strength of the department is 377, meaning Akron Fire still needs 34 firefighters. After you get so short, and for us that number is around 30 or 40 people, then it becomes hard to function and have people in our positions every day. The fire chief says there are many reasons the department is facing a firefighter shortage. That includes retirements, resignations for other jobs, burnout, and the COVID-19 pandemic. Our run volume has increased. And just like everybody else in the community, we've had people that have come down with COVID. Department leaders say response times remain good, but firefighters have been heading to more calls with less staff. Calls throughout Akron used to average 120 to 140 a day, but that number is on the rise. In recent days, we've had up to 160 calls with some stations having about 24 calls in one day. Xavier Brown and the other new firefighters stand ready to do their part to lighten that load. We were hired to make an impact in our community and in the department, um, and that's what we're doing, hopefully, you know, with us coming in. Akron is planning to hire one more class and possibly a second next year. In the meantime, those who have already followed their firefighter calling realize they've got a job to do. Keep my head low, keep my smile on, and just help and do as best as I can throughout this whole process. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5. The Cleveland Fire Department gave a shout out to its 36th cadet class today. Here's the class picture. We thank all of these new firefighters ready to keep us safe. Ohio State Highway Patrol is also looking to bring in new recruits. It just launched a redesigned recruitment website meant to make it easier for those thinking about becoming a trooper. Get more information on a career with Highway Patrol, including qualifications and how to apply.